Okay, right now I have no power to the ferro cell. I'm just using an external LED and I'm shining light across the top of the ferro cell. Let me position the ferro cell over top of the neodymium right in the middle here. I actually see that the light, let me position it properly. I'm just skimming it across the surface of the ferro cell. And you'll see this bright white line. No one's ever seen this before. I'm not using this methodology. Instead of being edge lit, I'm actually illuminating it from either side. See that bright white line? That's the dielectric inertial plane of the magnet. You see that bright white line that shows up? That's the midpoint. Let me show you. Let me turn the light on really quick. Then I'll change colors. I have the ferro cell with no power attached at all. Let me use some illumination here. Let me use the green light for illumination. Ferro cell with no illumination at all. Underneath is neodymium iron boron. Here's either pole on either side. This is a dielectric inertial plane. Let me show you something else really quick using a field viewing film. This stuff is as commonplace as dirt, but it's likely that most people have also never seen this before. Here you can see either lobe or pole of either magnet. Here you can see the white line in the center that moves as the dielectric inertial plane located at, not located at, actually forced at. Remember, a magnetic formation in the macro, because what defines a magnet is field coherency. The uh, dielectric inertial plane, or what is incorrectly called the block wall, the block wall is just a description, it doesn't mean anything, is forced at. It is a field flux pressure mediation. It is located at the zero null point where um, either centrifugal divergent poles actually nullify the zero point. In other words, if I were to slice this magnet up a million times along the inertial plane, either pole over here will have a million, well actually have two million different poles. But here you can see it right here. Ember, the dielectric inertial plane or the block wall is not located at the center of any magnet. It is forced there. It is the null point between two divergent magnetic force fluxes. Okay? What is the opposite of centrifugal divergence? It is centripetal convergence. It's the same way if you go to the center of the Earth, there is no gravity. If you go to the center of the Sun, there is a zero gravity. If you go to the very, very heart of a very powerful magnet, there will be no magnetism. That is the null point where magnetism is gone. We have self-similarity throughout the magnet. It is unable to, or it is impossible, excuse me, to say that. Uh, that uh, there is, uh, uh, excuse me, impossible to say that there is a flux divergence at the center point of a magnet. It is impossible to say that there is gravity at the center of any large uh, gravitational mass, be it the Earth or the Sun or anything else. So, not located there. Field pressure mediation, as we've defined before, a magnet is a, a reciprocating processional hyperboloid that extrapolates out its pressure mediations through a hyper excuse me, hypertrochoidal formation. Um, let's turn on the blue light and stick the ferro cell over top of it. Remember, we're not using any power to the ferro cell's internal LEDs at all, only to uh, applying some external LEDs. Let's go to the green. You'll be able to see it a lot more clearly in the green. Green's very close uh, to the blue spectrum. I said no one else has seen this before. You see that bright white line right there? If you could actually see it in its uh, full glory instead of uh, through the through the capture, let me block off some of the light. You could actually see you would actually see a very very deep holographic dip like uh, the uh, center point of the magnet is actually sucking it just like a black hole analogously right towards the center of the dielectric inertial plane. Anywhere over here, the light is shooting across the ferro cell. But if you bring it across the midpoint here, you'll actually see a bright line. You can only see part of that, but it extends a little bit further and it goes right to the null point of the midsection of the magnet, the intersection between uh, two magnetic divergences. And it's the light is literally, and I don't mean this figuratively, the light is literally being sucked in to the dielectric inertial plane, the midpoint axis of the magnet. Now, the holographic effect is absolutely fascinating. Now through the viewfinder here you're not really seeing anything exciting. You're going, oh well, that's exciting, but trust me, if you were here right now what you would see would be something far, far more exciting. <laughs> I can only tell you
<laughs> that if you want to experience it yourself, you'd have to get a ferro cell. No, I don't sell them. No, I get no benefits if you purchase a ferro cell. So, but here you can see as I sweep across it, you'll see that inertial point line magnet. The uh, the uh, a light sweeps across the ferro cell like a stone skipping across the water. But as soon as they come to the midpoint then the light literally gets sucked in and vanished along the dielectric inertial plane. And the, uh, the if you were here scenario is far, far, far more uh, impressive. What you would see is literally like a line dipping down to a, a zero infinity. Like down in the water going down a drain. Very, very quite literally as far as the image that you'd actually see from this. Anyway, no one else has ever seen this before. So I thought I would show it to you. Hope I didn't bore you to tears. Thank you for watching. Bye.